Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Wise and I'd like to give you a little bit of a tour about this course, Survey of Emerging Technologies, and some information about how to navigate through the course site, um, how to find the resources and assignments and everything that you'll need to get this course done. This will be the main kind of working page that we use um, in Survey of Emerging Technologies, and this is a Weebly site, and you can get here, um, if you just want to look at the full site, you can get here by looking at um, going to surveyoftech.weebly.com and that will get you to the full site. Uh, another option is to look at the site. You can access it directly through Blackboard um, through when you log in at the uh, UAS online site. So there's two different ways. Um, when you log into the UAS online site after you receive your login, you'll get a page that looks not quite like this, but something like this. And you'll have an announcements page right here. And what you will see on the announcements page for this class is this welcome message. Um, and it says, to get an introduction to all you need to begin this course, please click the course content button on the left. Um, and what that is, is your menu on the left won't look like mine, but you will have a button that says course content. So when you get here and you want to get into the course, that's the button that you will click. Um, as soon as you do, what you'll come up with is a page that looks like this. And there's, um, you know, some folders down here that say module one assignments, module two assignments. Um, initially, when you want to look at the course itself, you click this little button here called Course Modules. And what that will take you to is the Weebly page that I just got done showing you, but it will show it to you within the Blackboard environment here, within your, um, your uh, the UAS Online, uh, this is your Blackboard environment. And so the page, this Weebly page that I just showed you, will pop up here. And it says if it doesn't start shortly, click here. And it'll load in a minute. So Survey of Emerging Technologies. What you'll see over here on the side is a listing. There's the home button and that's the page you're at right now. You can always tell what page you're on by the little blue marker over here. And then it goes down and lists all of the modules for this course. This is a year-long course. There are 17 modules, so you'll need to pace yourself out um, so that you can complete the modules by the time the school year ends. On the Welcome to Your Course page, it's set up a lot like the other pages in the course. There's a little introductory thing here, and there's some important messages um, and information about the course you'll need to read. This is a before you begin message. Um, please read it and go through it. Um, it talks about the uh, email address that you need to have. It's preferably a Gmail address. Um, there's a video in here that tells a little bit about me. Uh, and you'll be able to watch that. And so you'll see that everything that's here has a number by it. That means you do this first, then you do this second, then you do this, and on down the line. Sometimes you'll have things like videos to watch. Sometimes you will have some things to read. Sometimes you'll have a file to download and read. Um, on this home page, it's important that you take this survey. This is not a test. It's just a beginning of the year survey. So I kind of know where everybody's at with this, with, with their, where they're at with their technology knowledge. Um, so, and at the bottom of each page, you'll always have this checklist. So for each module that you do, you'll have a checklist. And you just want to go through this at the end and say, yep, I've done this, I've done this, I've done this. And then it, once you've done that, it says once you've completed all eight of these items or however many there are, you're ready to begin the next thing. And the modules are all set up that way. So for example, if I go to module one, um, it gives the title. And module one is about internet safety and internet savvy. Um, it gives an overview of what the module is about. It gives the standards that are associated with the module. It tells you about how many resources are going to be here. There are five resources below that you need to go through. And then here they are. Here's number one resource. It's a file to download. Number two resource, it's a file. Number three, this is a link that you'll need to go to and read. 
um, and the same thing with the rest of it. And then at the bottom is this checklist, just so you check. I've, I've done this, I've done this. Um, and then at the bottom it says, I have completed the module one assignment under the course content menu. All of the modules say this. What that means is that back here on your UAS online page, you go to the go to your UAS online page and you go over to that course content button and here will be the module one assignments so when you click this it gives you for example in module one there are questions to answer so to answer the questions at the end of module one you'll need to click the button and go through the questions and submit this assignment um, just a clue for all of these um, the questions or submission um, requirements under each of the modules do require that you've gone through all of the content in the module before you begin the assignment. Uh, most of these assignments would be difficult to do without having gone through the resources that are in the module. So all of the modules kind of look that same way, like for example, module six, there's the overview and the standards, there's an overview of the learning resources, here's the learning resources, and these each tell you what to do. There's your checklist, and then it says I have completed the module six assignments in the course content folder and again we go back to um, your blackboard page and you click your course content folder or your course content button that's on the left and you'll go back to that menu that has the course content and then the module one module two module three listings under each of those remember when you click course content you can always access this page this website right here either by going to www.weebly.com or not weebly.com I'm sorry to surveyoftech.weebly.com you can always get to the full site here however if you're not in the blackboard environment you cannot get to these items you will need to be in the blackboard environment to get to these assignments um, but you can if you don't want to go out of the blackboard environment if you click this button um, it will take you, and it's not doing it for me right now, but I promise it will take you right to this page. It will show up in your Blackboard environment. So that's a little bit of an overview of the course and how to navigate through it. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to call me. Um, on this home page here, one of the things you'll see it says meet me a little bit about your teacher. And then this how this course is set up right underneath it there's a download file and that has all of my contact information on it if you need to call me email me whatever um, and the hours I'm available that is available right here so I'll be contacting you about once a week during this course I do expect prompt responses when I contact you please be sure and follow the directions on the home page and set up an email address if you don't have one already preferably a gmail and get that to me right away again my contact information is on the home page and it's right here tech course contact info